is your definition of a hero? A hero to me is someone who doesn't back down and isn't afraid of failure. A hero doesn't wait for things to happen. They get up and do it themselves. But they don't do it for themselves. They do it for other people. The hero I chose is a man named Chief Black Kettle. Chief Black Kettle was a Cheyenne Indian chief that lived during the 19th century. Chief Black Kettle was born in 1803 near the Black Hills of South Dakota. Also called Motivado by his friends and family, Chief Black Kettle showed strong leadership skills and that is why he was made Chief of the Cheyenne. What makes Chief Black Kettle a hero? Well, most people think of Indians being very violent type of people. This man was one of the few peaceful Indian leaders. Although his men were violent, he was always a peaceful man. Chief Black Kettle counseled peace as much as he could, even when his men were fighting. He didn't believe in fighting and used peace to solve his problems in any way he could. At this time, the Cheyenne and other Indian tribes were in a peace treaty with the U.S. called the Fort Laramie Treaty. The treaty guaranteed peace to the Cheyenne and other Indian tribes, including the Sioux. By the time Chief Black, Black Kettle became chief, the 1859 Pikes Peak Gold Rush had made it so people were everywhere in the area. The U.S. then demanded the Southern Cheyenne to sign a new treaty that stated they had to stay at the Sand Creek Reservation in the Southern Colorado. Chief Black Kettle agreed to the treaty, but it was hard to live there because it was very small and barren. During this time, the Civil War was raging on in the East. Since there were so many men fighting, the protection of U.S. soldiers in the area was very low. The Cheyenne took advantage of this, and the number of Indian attacks increased. This then caused a militia to form, which soon led to the Colorado War of 1864 and 1865. During the Colorado War, there was a brutal battle called the Sand Creek Massacre. The Sand Creek Massacre was on November 18, 1868. After this massacre was finished, 150 Cheyenne Indians lay dead, including Chief Black Kettle, along with his wife. One of the men who led this attack on the village was a man named George Armstrong Custer. Custer was the 7th Cavalry Commander in the U.S. Army and did not like Chief Black Kettle or any of the Cheyenne Indians. Although Chief Black Kettle died, he tried to make peace with Custer and his men. When they were attacking the village, Chief Black Kettle put up a white flag above his teepee to show he surrendered and wanted peace with Custer and his men. Because of Chief Black Kettle's peace, he was a true hero in this situation and will always be remembered as a hero.